step 9 in the detail activity add the necessary java code to support the notion of spinners and arise <laughs> Okay, and so now since we have a spinner, we need to provide a source of data to fill in this spinner with data so that the users can select later the number of tickets that they want to buy from this movie. Let's go to the values folder, which is by the way, a subfolder of the resources folder, okay? So right click on values, new, and value resource file. And then let's just give it a name in here, let's call it arrays for example. Let's leave everything as they are and click OK to this. Okay, and now in here, let's say string array, there we are, okay? String array, and now for the name, let's call it nums array, okay? And in here, my friends, let's have some items. The first one is one, and let's duplicate this using command and D, command and D to duplicate, let's duplicate this 10 times, Okay, and that's it. Okay, and so the first thing that I'd like to do is basically uh, to organize our code a little bit so I am right now in the detail activity and let me select all of this code in here okay and then right click refactor extract method okay let's call this method set initial data okay and click refactor to that and as you can see all of this code is being bought inside a newly created method called set init data and this method is now called from within the uncreate method good okay and the second thing is that i'd like to create a new method which is called process spinner okay so as you can see this method is now uh, being marked in red this is because the method is not being created yet and so let's have android studio to create it for us and how do we do that? Alt and enter and select create method process spinner and just click enter to that and there we are we have a newly created method in here and the uh, code that will process the spinner is going to be put in here okay so first of all let me try to find the spinner to find view by id r.id dot and the shortcut for spinner is sp spinner and there we are spinner number of tickets detail okay Second thing is that we need to load the spin out some data and so let's create an array adapter of type character sequence. Okay, equal to create from resource is the method that we need create from resource. And notice that this method accepts three parameters, the contest and an array and an integer. Okay. So the contents is this, which is the reference of, to the current activity, which is the detail activity, uh, comma r dot array dot our newly created array, which is nums array, okay? And then we have this android dot r dot layout dot symbol spinner item. Okay, this is the one that we're going to select. And let's now continue working on this newly created object, which is the adapter, okay, adapter dot set, drop down view resource, which accepts an integer a resource, okay. And again, android dot r dot layout dot 
simple spinner drop down item we'll select the first one symbol underscore spinner underscore drop down underscore item okay and now we need to set this spinner to adapt this adapter okay so spinner dot set adapter and pass the adapter object in there and now let's set a listener on the spinner okay so spinner dot set on item selected listener this okay the new then on item selected listener click enter on that and as you can see we've got uh, two new methods added for us which is on item selected and on nothing selected right so what i want to do in here is i would like to find out the number of the tickets that the user has selected from the spinner and uh, so let's create this if we have that basically we can multiply that with the price of each movie and then we can show the subtotal so let's do that integer number of tickets equal to this one adapter view dot get item at position and the position is given to us my friends in i good and let's fix this alt enter and cast the second part into integer okay and now let's compute the subtotal which is a double of course subtotal equal to number of tickets multiplied by the price of each movie which we can access using the movie object movie dot aha uh -huh. and as you can see we cannot access the movie object this is because the movie object is now locally defined in onCreate so it's local to the onCreate method so let's make this global or a class level uh, field so alt and enter on this line and split into declaration and assignment and then let's cut this and let's have it in here private and then this and as you can see we are now able to access the object okay so dot get movie price and that will give us the subtotal okay and now we need to define the text view that will display the subtotal okay so text view tv sub total for example equal to find view by id r.id.tv and then we are tv movie subtotal value detail okay semicolon so let's just double check that this is the one that we want so if i command click on this or control click on this windows okay that will take us straight to the uh, price right which is what we want and then finally let's have tv subtotal dot set text and let's pass the double in here so subtotal and notice that we have an error in here this is because set text expects a string and this is a double so let's pass this into a string plus double quotation double empty quotation okay and i believe we are now ready to test our nice little app okay so let's run it okay let's try with ala ad-deen first let's click on ala ad-deen yahoo we have an error in here nice okay let's find it let's try to fix this error okay so first of all let's go in here and let's change the word verbus into error okay and let's make sure that the, uh, we want to see the running version and okay and we can see there is an error in here which basically says a string cannot be cast into an integer and this is in line 48 so let's go to line 48 by clicking on that so we have a problem in here and I think I know what the solution is okay so let's just delete this and let's use integer dot parse integer this method as you can see it expects a string so let's make sure let's make sure that this first is a string okay so as you can see there is an error in there so just to keep things simple plus double quotation right and I think that should fix the problem so let's run it again okay so let's click on Allah Dean and I think it does work okay so as you can see uh, if we have one ticket the price for it is 3.5 let's select let's change this into two and we have seven let's change it to three for example and this will be 10.5 now there are things that I'd like to improve in here first of all in terms of the description there's only one line in there and as you can see we can we can actually scroll through it so why not decrease the size of this picture okay especially the height and the second thing is that I'd like to have 
ذا كرنسي شلون رايك نكست ذا برايس سو 10.5 او ام ار او 9 ريالز سو ليتس جيت ستريت تو ذا اكتيفيتي ديتيل اوكي ليتس جو تو ذا موفي بيكتشر سو فور ذا ويلث ليتس جاست هاف 100 اند فور ذا هايت ليتس هاف 100 انستيد اوف 200 اوكي اند هوبفلي ذات شود هيلب And let's go back to the detail activity. And in here, let's have O M R. Okay. Let's now rerun our app, and let's see if it works. Yep. And it's now much, much better. Okay. And it still works. You see this? I'm gonna send this. If I have like two tickets, that's seven reals. So that's two times three point five. That's seven reals. Okay. Let's go and try uh, to book. Some tickets from the king Kingdom of Heaven. So this one is six point two, the price for each movie. Let's try two tickets, and that's twelve point four. That's exactly right. Okay, that is that. Thank you and happy coding. <laughs>